Um, I thought it was a really hard fought game, both sides. Uh, I think they put up a great fight. Uh, like we, like you could see, it, there was a close game throughout the whole thing. So props to Central Missouri, and it was a really fun game to play. Yeah, I mean, for us, I'd like to just say congrats to them on a great season. Uh, you know, we have a ton of respect for their program. Uh, Flip does a great job with their team, and they're well prepared uh, pretty much every time they step on the court. Um, and congrats to their girls. They had a really, really strong season. Um, and it was just a good, hard-fought match. You know, I think that the 3-0 score was not indicative of how close that match actually was. That, that match could have easily gone. Any, anywhere four or five games after that because those games were so close. I think that we look at the scoreboard and we know that we have to push right then and there, mm -hmm. but we don't freak out about it. I mean, we're still calm, we're still smiling with each other, having a good time, but we just know, all right, we, we got to do this right now, we got to play. So, I mean, it's not freak out, oh, let's win this game, we have to do it right now. It's just one point at a time, calmly talking to each other with intent on winning every point. Yeah, she uh, she came to play tonight. You know, she she did a great job. I think that one of the, some of the things that happens are is that we have five kids that can terminate balls on the court, and they have to kind of pick who they're going to slow down and who they're going to shut down. And then Amanda does a great job of really kind of distributing to who's hot, and then that's kind of what she did. She kept on going to her because she was hot. So and and it's a tough thing to try to defend everybody. So hopefully on our end, somebody's going to have a hot night. Um, you know, I think the times that we struggle are is when we have a few kids that are that are struggling that night rather than, you know, like today, even today, even though like maybe Carl wasn't having the greatest hitting nights, you know, it's I think that, you know, it kind of balances out our offense. We still hit 278 on the night against one of the best teams in the country. We'll take that, you know, we'll take that with the shot to win, you know, so. I can answer what I think or whatever kind of the I think it kind of happened mid season when we you know when we our offense was at a lull and it was and they kind of just started buying into the fact that they've got to just really scrap for balls more and we got to find another way to beat teams um, you know we got beat um, on our home court and that probably didn't taste very great so it was just like one of those things that and and they outworked us that night and we really haven't feel we don't feel like we've been outworked since then so I think that they kind of made an adjustment of like okay we're gonna scrap for points and then my thoughts and what I tell them always is all right if you can get yourself to get out there and play defense and scrap for points like you know you're capable of and then you bring the offense it's gonna be a really rough night for other teams so and we had some of those matches too where it was just a rough night for them all the way around because we dug them and we had a good offensive night so hopefully that's kind of where we keep going from here and kind of keep building on that. So. Mm -hmm.